Hi, Tim Roberts, Application Engineer with Go Engineer. This quick tip video is really going to be discussing the use of flow and how to prevent overriding your results if you want to preserve them in a project. Here we've got a project. We've ran some results. You know, we've got some pretty good data here. We have some cut plots. We have some uh, trajectory plots. And we want to save this data, but maybe we want to change a parameter. Maybe we want to change a flow rate or you know, some input conditions might change. We might even change a different fluid, whatever it is. Here's how to keep from losing your results in the original project. So if I right mouse click on the original project, we have this clone project option. This is going to be key. What it does is when we select clone project, it gives us some options to create a new project. I'll give it a new name and I have the option to use the existing configuration I can select from several existing configurations that you've already created previously or optionally I can create a new configuration which used to be the old default for flow for you guys that have been using it quite a while at any rate we'll keep it on use current we could copy the results um, for the new project and give us a new result some of those files are fairly large and if you're cloning the project for a what-if scenario, you probably are going to rerun it anyway, so I'll usually leave that off. But after we create the project, nice thing is we've still got all of our input conditions. We've still got all of our result plots, although we can't show them yet. There's no results. And everything is the same. And at this point, you would come in and maybe you would change a flow rate or whatever, you know, change a number here make your changes and then you would rerun this project and so that is how to clone it to run a what-if scenario to see what changes how to get back to your original results well you still have your original project here in the tree I can return to my original project and the results aren't loaded but I can get back to those I can load those results now and I can show my original plots with the original results not having lost anything so hopefully you can see where this becomes a real advantage for running a what-if scenario in flow and especially for comparing different results with different scenarios I hope you enjoyed this quick tip video my name is Tim Roberts thanks for listening